Hello there, my name is Shella, and today we are going to be checking out Cat Cafe Manager for the first time because I have not actually looked at any of this yet. I haven't even watched any videos on it, which is something that I normally do when I want to play a game, but I saw the title and I knew that I would instantly fall in love with this game because I also like cats, so what is there not to love about it? But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Also, if you end up enjoying this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. All right, let's go ahead and click new game and see what happens. Oh boy, here we go. You've traveled all the way from the city to Cotterwall Way. It's a small countryside town hidden far away from the bustle of the city. You hardly even remember the town. Don't take it too hard, you were a baby. Ooh, okay, so we have some options here. Mom always seemed to miss this place, or Dad never mentioned how pretty it was. Um, I'm gonna go with Mom. Granny stayed when you left. It's only now that you know why. Turns out she was running a business. Wow, <laughs> plot twist. <gasps> We've arrived. Wasn't there supposed to be a building here? There's a big man clumsily rumm rummaging around the field. He's all chafed, knuckles, and smiling. Wait, what is that? Ch He's all chapped, chafed, knuckles? What? I don't understand this this sentence. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> his name is Bonner. Er, are you supposed to be here? Okay, so my grand's letter asked me to come, or who are you? I'm gonna say grand told me to come. Oh, your name's Lil Tyke. I should have known. Sorry to scare ye. I'm Bonner. I was good friends of your grants. <laughs> Couldn't compete with her cats, though. Ha ha ha. Okay. What's your name? Let me get a good look at ye. Ooh, okay, so we get to decide what our name is. I'm kind of thinking it's funny that our name automatically was Kitten, but I'm gonna change that to Shella. Alright, and then let's go for hairstyle. Um. I'm gonna do like half long maybe because that's kind of where my hair's at in real life and my hair is actually purple so that's fun kind of more like that color and then I am pasty I am very very pasty so honestly I might go with like this super pale color right here I think that probably matches me the best perfect ah look at you you even got your grand's eyes Nane was always talking about ye, said that even as a little babe, she liked how you were, so... Ooh, pick a trait, okay. Gourmand, you enjoy eating food almost as much as you enjoy making it. Plus two cooking and chance of using less ingredients when cooking. Alright. And then we have gentle. Your gentle demeanor can calm down the rowdiest cat. Cat care plus two and stress release for cats. Alright. And then we have Social Butterfly. You have a knack for making others feel comfortable. Okay, you know, I am a cat person in real life, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and give myself the cat trait, the gentle one. So, did Nane's letter say why she wanted you to come here? Oh, we're rebuilding the cat cafe. Ha, I knew it. Let me help set you up. First things first, let's pick a good name. Ooh, okay, ooh. Oh no, cat cafe name? Um, all right, so it automatically is coffee meow. I kind of just want to name it something based off of my name. How about... Hmm. I'm just going to call it Shell Kitty Cafe. <laughs> Perfect. Or do I put cafe at the end? I might not. It might automatically put cafe, so I'm just going to put Shell Kitty. Shell Kitty, such a clever based, or a clever cat based pun. Uh, not really, but thanks. Unless it's not a pun, wouldn't know, never- I've been pun deaf since age 4 Oh, okay. <laughs> He's on to us. Alright, I hear the telltale sounds of meowing cats. Three little fur balls poke their heads past the trees. I'm gonna cry. <gasps> it's some of the many stray cats which roam Cotterwall. This is a perfect opportunity to adopt a cat, Shella. Ca needs cats for a cat cafe after all. What? I'm gonna cry. You only have room for one cat right now. You can expand the cafe and take these other two off the street later. Oh my god. Okay, so this one right here is a clean cat. They clean up after themselves and don't have as much of a bladder need. These cats are chill and tend to vibe, less of a stress need. And then tiny tummy, they don't need a lot of food. Um, I think I'm gonna focus on 
having a clean cat for the first cat, so I'll choose this one here. You've won this cat's trust. They would like to be adopted. Go ahead and give them the perfect name. Oh boy, this is gonna be so difficult. Um, man, they're really just gonna throw me in the deep end. I, I wish I had like a name generator. Maybe, maybe I'll go ahead and randomly generate a cat name. Give me one second. All right, so I did a cat name generator and one of the names that came up that I really like is Marshmallow. And I mean, our cat is very like cream color, so I think it's perfect. All right, marshmallow. Oop, I spelled that wrong. It's mallow, not mellow. Marshmallow. Adopt. We got an achievement and adopted a stray. Oh no. That's upsetting. I can't see the full cat's name. Oh no. Maybe I should pick a shorter name. I'll go with vanilla then. Just so that it like fully shows up there. Otherwise that will bother me. All right, continue. They seem to trust you, Shella. You got your grand feline charms, you do. As you can see, the cafe is just a teeny bit destroyed by a storm. I'm sorry, is he saying like, the fact that there is no cafe is because of a storm? Teeny bit destroyed? More like doesn't exist anymore. All right, he saved us some of our furniture. A bunch of shabby looking furniture, okay, <laughs> great. We'll probably need some more chairs though. We can buy some more at Gruff's Decorations. All right, cool, cool, cool. So it's our job to turn this into a cozy cat cafe. Oh boy, all right, this is a lot of reading. Hello, dear, I hope this notebook helps you along your way. Your goal is to delight your customers. Your customers will have needs and which when fulfilled, increase their satisfaction. If your customers leave satisfied, they'll gain more delight and also give you more resources for you to expand your cat cafe with. What's in your cafe? Cats, okay, staff, okay, and furniture. So cats make our customers happy. Staff perform tasks and furniture has like stats that will affect our cafe. All right. Oh boy. Okay, this is a lot to take in. It seems like our movement is the very standard WASD. Cool, cool, cool. I might just, you know, wing it. Hold down your right mouse button to enter inspect mode. Oh, and that's how you check on your customer's needs. Okay, cool. I'm sure I'll be able to look at that at any time. Oh my gosh, here I am. Hello. And then this is Vanilla. Hi, Vanilla. I'm clicking on her and I think, oh, I'm petting her. Wait, this is the best day ever. I can zoom in too. How fun. All right, I need to um, come over here and fill this. I don't have any lures in my inventory. Okay. So never mind. I thought that that was the food. Um, we need a sink and we don't have an entrance, so this is building. So build mode allows you to expand your cafe, place floors and wallpapers. Whenever you place a new floor, it will cost you materials. Replacing a floor is free. Use this to remove place floors and walls and you'll even get the materials refunded. Okay. I think we're just going to try to wing it. So these are walls and then these are floors. I'm not really sure. What type of walls I want to go with right away, but um, let's maybe zoom out here and see if we can afford ourselves a, a cute little tiny cafe. Oh, it has to be placed on a floor. Okay, well, that's good to know. How do I get back to floor? I am looking. Okay. Um, oh no. Oh, okay, there we go. I figured it out. All right, let's do this wood then. Oh, I see. Okay, so the walls will automatically appear. That's quite nice. I like that. All right, so what if we had an entrance here and then it kind of went off that way a little bit more? That's kind of nice. Okay, we can't fully afford much more than that because I see my materials here are depleting. So we have to be careful. Can I replace these walls though yes now that is nice i love purple okay it says we require a sink so let's see where that will be water requires a sink okay decorate okay this must be the stuff that he left us which is great so we will be able to have a few things in our cafe ugly entrance is what this is called lovely 
That's exactly what I want to see whenever I'm building is something called ugly entrance. All right, and then we do have a cat bowl there. And I think we can set up our first table as well. We got three chairs, it looks like. Okay, how do I rotate these? Q and E. Oh, that's nice. I might actually move that like up against the wall here instead. Yeah. We have a rose bush. Okay, I'll just uh, plop that down outside. I don't really necessarily know why that would go inside. And then we also have a dusty rug. Did I make this too big for our starting area? I don't actually know. All right, let's exit design mode. Okay. Is there a way for me to see my walls? I don't actually know. Who's this? Oh, is this person coming to eat at my cafe? Hello? Inspect mode. This is Vagabond, and he's not very satisfied. Something about wanting more cats and hunger. Um, he's thirsty, so let me... Can I take his order? Yes, I can get you some water from the sink. No problem. Okay. He liked that, but he also made a mess. Why would you do that, sir? Oh, this is cute. I really, really like this. Okay, who are you? Another vagabond. All right. Oh my god, my cat just went over and sat on him. Oh, I love that. All right. This reminds me of Diner Dash. <laughs> I love Diner Dash. That's so cute, Vanilla. You're doing so good. You're making our customers so happy. Oh my god, is that a witch? No way. Can I be your best friend? I have to chat with her, okay? Oh my god, Carla. Hello. Oh dear, I've been so excited to meet you, Shella. I'm Carla Lala. Please call me Carla or Lala or both. I run the Pet Emporium in town. We carry many useful items for cat owners, such as cat food or litter boxes. I hope you can find the time to pay us a visit. I will. I will be there as soon as possible. <laughs> I understand this might actually come as a surprise, but I'm actually a witch. No way. In fact, quite a few garden witches live here in Cotterwall. I'm sure they'll be happy to come visit Shell Kitty as well. Us witches tend to pay in scrumptious nectar. Ooh. Many merchants at the food market enjoy it so much, they'll only accept nectar as a payment for their food, recipes, and ingredients. If you wish to stock Shell Kitty with new drinks and foods, I recommend you advertise to witches and collect some nectar. Personally, I look forward to visiting Shell Kitty more often. I hope we can talk more then. Oh my god, present. We met Carla and we unlocked a new resource called Nectar. Okay, that's great. Also, she wants an order, but I don't actually have the ability to get her what she needs. So... Does that mean I should go to town? And if I go to the furniture area, is this where I can buy certain things that I can make food with? Because I feel like I should probably buy this coffee machine so that I can take more orders, right? Oh, well, I, uh, I, I bought it, so I hope that's what I needed to do. <laughs> okay, and then this one costs, what are these, fabrics? Oh, I see. So each of these are different things. So I have fish, jewels, nectar, fabrics, training points, gold, and materials. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Do I have enough for anything here? I do. I can get the pretzel recipe. It requires the sink and cooking skill one. So I should probably get that so I can serve my uh, witch customer. And then maybe I'll get uh, the coffee recipe as well, and an herbal tea. Just so you know, we have a few options. I could almost buy all of them, but I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should save some just in case, right? All right. This is for pet goods. So she takes fish. We can get canned stray lure or a little food bowl. And that's all that they're carrying right now. So I think I'm good. I don't know if we're ready for more cats yet from what I what I understand. So let's go back to our cafe. And I believe I can now take her order, right? Or will it not let me? Oh, he just pss, 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 pss. I love that. Hey, you would like some water? You got it. Okay, I prepared two waters. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, all right. 
There are six different groups of customers. Each has unique needs and pays using a different resource. So vagabonds, pay fabrics, artists and jewels, punks and materials, which is a nectar, fisher folk and fish and business people and gold. Okay, I was about to ask like, how do I make my money back? But here's the answer right here. Um, all cat stats of the customer type are added together to meet this need. Your hunger, your cooking skill will meet this need. If your customer does not receive their order food, your cooking skill is halved. Oh boy. Okay, comfort, social toilet space. Okay. Well, that's all a lot and I'm sure I will learn just by playing, so I'm just gonna wing it. However, I would like to place my new items that I bought. So I am going to put my coffee machine back here. And then I did have some recipes, so I'm wondering if those like automatically got added since I have a coffee machine here. So I guess we'll find out. My character is so cute. Okay, she didn't like her water that much. What? Me and this fox had a lovely chat the other day. Um, not that I could understand any of her weirdly cute yelping. Okay, Carla, thanks for stopping in. I'm gonna play with my kitty. Come here, Vanilla. Come here. Why are you running away? Dusk sets when you hear a raspy meowing outside. When you open the door to see if it's a stray, a dark shape runs in to Shell Kitty. Whoa. Oh my god. An ancient black cat sits in your cafe, gazing at you with big yellow eyes. Hello. Um, hey. <laughs> Not surprised, little thing. You resemble your grandmother, Nain. I'm surprised to find her cat cafe open for business. Your handiwork, I'm sure. The cats, which have chosen to shelter here, their paws are soft, their tummies full, their bristles bristly. Whatever that means. Um, <laughs> this thing pleases me, little thing. I have something to show you. Follow, if you please. Oh yeah, let's just follow the strange cat. Oh, there's like a shrine over here? Okay. You follow the dark cat into a clearing hidden deep in the woods. There you find what looks like some sort of ancient shrine. Have you noticed, little thing, how your shell kitty and its cats have brought delight to the humans of Cutterwall? For the sake of this shrine, I ask that you continue to do so. Fill their little hearts with delight and obtain their help in restoring this old shrine to its former glory. Pretty, please, yes. Uh, what is this shrine? I'll tell that tale in due time, inquisitive little thing. But I know, but know it is powerful for canny cat care caretakers. Wow, that was like a tongue twister for me. Such as yourself, little thing. As the shrine is restored, I'm sure you will enjoy bountiful benefits for your cat, cafe, and cats. To start, set a project for yourself. Each project requires goals to be met and a certain amount of delight. Why don't you try starting a project now, little thing? I will find you after you've managed to make some progress. Oh, so these are like skill trees for each type of uh, skill we can learn. So... I think I want to focus on the cats first, so I'm going to do the one that adds two cat limit slots. So I'm going to click here. Are you sure you want to start the more cats project? Yes. Okay, so then over here it looks like my delight bar. I have to get 100 delight in order to unlock this, so. Very good! That'll be easy. I'm not worried about it one little bit. I'm petting my cat. Oh, she's so cute. Hello. Skip to morning. Um, yeah. Oh no, I did not make Carla very happy. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't have a pretzel machine. Rank C. Ugh, okay. Okay, I still have three chair slots and two cat slots, so I can buy a lure. Maybe I should do that. I'll do that right now because it's recommending I do. So let's buy a lure and uh, head back to our cafe. And I'm not sure how to use the lure. Oh, maybe it's down here. There we go. Oh, pick a stray lure. This one. There we go. Alright, so we'll see if we can get a cat. Hello! Mm -hmm. I'm taking your order. You want a pretzel? Why is it not letting me make the pretzel? I know how to make pretzels. Pretzels require bread? Oh. Oh, should I buy some bread? Okay, great pick. I, I did buy some bread, and I'm also gonna buy some coffee beans, herbs, and then hopefully I can afford tea leaves later too. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't know I needed that. Can you give me another chance? Or is she like, she's mad. Great. 
Okay, staff. It's tough to run the cafe by yourself, so try hiring some staff to help you out. Each staff member is good at different things. Okay, and you can slowly earn staff training points. Yes, all right, a lot of this is stuff that I feel like I'll figure out on the way. I'm not one that likes to read the rules very much, so I apologize, but you know, it can, uh, it can get old, so I'm just gonna wing it. I've played games like this before, how hard could it be? <gasps> I'm crying, look at you. Hello? I'm gonna win his trust. This this Chungus Magoober. Hello. I'm gonna pet. Wait. Ooh. Traits. Party cat. Once they pop, no one can stop. Then we have this cat, which is sleepy. And this cat, which is um, a sharer. Maybe I should do that at the beginning because it's important to make sure all my cats get well fed, right? Because I don't really have a lot of food, so. I'm gonna pet you, Deborah. All right. I'm not sure what to do. Um, I closed it. I pet Deborah, but I I don't know what just happened. I got a little confused there. Um. Oh, I can train myself. Yeah. So I can choose a higher skill. Let's give myself a better service skill, so we can earn some more money. I wonder if I did that cat thing wrong. Oh my god, yes, I can make you pretzel. Guess what? I know how to make pretzel. Hee <laughs> hee. Enjoy. Thank you for stopping in. What about you, sir? Did I already serve you? I think I did, right? I believe so. Oh. Where did this banana peel even come from? That's what I want to know, because I haven't seen you whip out a banana. Alright. Yes. I'm learning. We're doing great. <laughs> I think we've been pretty successful so far. Anything else I can help you with? No? Satisfaction, not good. Uh-oh. It looks like they're just not happy with my cats. Is that what it is? I don't fully understand. But, like, the cats are not happy. Is it because I don't have enough cats for you? Like, I'm sorry, I'm trying. I, d I don't know what I did wrong with the stray lure thing. All these witches like pretzels, though. This is canon. If you're a witch, you love pretzels. I will not accept anything else. <laughs> is my cat okay? Okay, yeah, she's good. Vanilla's doing great. Thank you, Vanilla. You're doing amazing. Okay, she she did like that pretzel. But are you, like, still not happy? No, she just wants me to have more cats. Look, I'm trying. I wonder if those cats will come back tomorrow. And I can keep petting them. There's your water, sir. Did that make your happiness go up? No, okay. What happens if I check this? Cause like I can't interact with this right now. So I'm assuming that means like they'll come back again. I guess we'll just have to find out. Oh, I love your green hair. You look great. <laughs> I'll make you a pretzel. Here you go. And then I'm filling up your pet bowl so you can eat vanilla. Oh yes, there's a stray cats notification. This is great. So the one that I started petting last time didn't come back, which is kind of sad. Um, I'm gonna pet Brian. Oh my God, this cat's name is Brian because he doesn't need a lot of food. So thanks for coming over, Brian. <laughs> I'm gonna place another lure. Oh, I don't have one. Never mind. Ugh. I'll have to go shopping. Oh, she just wants to chat. Hey, what's up? This is Finley. Hi, uh, I hope it's okay to say. The work you're doing here is inspiring, honestly. Oh, thanks so much. No problem. I mean it. I'm Finley, and I, uh, make music. Not for, like, money, unless you count my mom's patron sub. Bet you didn't think there'd be many artists on Cotterwall. But lots of creative folk have moved here to focus on work. Shell Kitty's chill. I bet they'd love it. Us artists can hook you up with jewels. These craftsmen over in Gruff Decorations charge jewels for most of their furniture. So if you're looking to furnish your cafe, advertise to artists and get yourself some jewels, okay? Do you happen to have any coffee? If not, don't forget to buy the coffee machine at Gruff's after you buy the recipe. I really enjoy working on my stuff here, and I hope I can get to know you a bit better too, if that's cool with you. Oh my god, yes. Please be my best friend. <laughs> Till next time then. She's so cool. Alright, so we met Finley. These are our regulars. Oh, that's fun! We have regulars! So, they're, co they're colorful townsfolk who keep visiting your cafe. 
as they visit and gain delight, you'll fill their friendship bar. Every time this fills up, you go up a friendship level. Yes! And certain shrine upgrades are also locked until you reach a certain friendship level with any one of your regulars. Okay, that is really good to know. Regulars will often visit on their own, but if you want to meet a specific person, use a phone booth outside of your cafe to give them a call. All right, you got it. Anyways, I can totally make that. I can prepare black coffee. I already bought the coffee machine. Woo! It's nice to see the old cat cafe open again, but wasn't this just like a field? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm really fast at what I do, okay? I need to buy something. Also hire staff, but I'm confused because I don't really see. I guess I'm at my staff limit, so I need to upgrade that in the shrine, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, I don't have any items to place, so I'm going to go to town really quick. Let's see if we can buy some more chairs. We can buy a basic table and a pup chair. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And um, I think that's basically all I can get at the moment that would be good. Crappy toilet. Oh, maybe I should have bought that. I don't know. Oh, now I'm nervous that I bought the wrong thing. Um, I think I want to buy the black tea recipe. Thanks for that. And then I should probably make sure I have more bread for tomorrow since I had a lot of witches. Oh, I see. My ingredients are over here. So, yes, I will make sure I keep track of that. And then what about this? Can I buy another lure? You don't have any more lures? Okay. You know what? That's fine. I don't need your, your cat food yet. And it looks like we're at 33 out of 100 for an additional cat slot. I'm starting to wonder if that wasn't the best choice. So I don't know. It looks like not too many of our customers were that happy. Um, so that's not good. We really need to work on that. All right. I would like to place another table and another chair really quickly just to have it just so we have another another nice place to uh, sit and I believe that's all I have in terms of decorations but I think that this cafe is coming along pretty nicely I'm pretty proud of myself let's see how we do today this will be a true test of my skill because I think we're almost through the tutorial hello madam she wishes I had more cats. I wish I had more cats too. I need to place a lure though. Can I not? Can I get another lure? Oh, I can. Yes. Okay, let me... Let me place one. There we go. So now hopefully I can get my second cat. I didn't realize it was going to be like a process to get the cats. I thought it would just be like you pet it and then it's yours. But I kind of like that I have to work towards it. And I have to like pet them multiple times to get them to trust me. It makes sense, you know? Also, I love that my character is permanently just holding a platter like this. It's very funny. All right, she looks super cute. I like her outfit. I think she's an artist. Okay, she wants black coffee. I can do that. Yes. Let me clean up this banana peel too. I don't know which one of you is eating banana in here, but please don't. Please do not. I don't have a trash can. Oh, there's some stray cats. Hold on. I think the cat that I originally saw is here. Hello! Oh my gosh, is that Debra? Debra, you're back. It's good to see you. Okay, one more pet and I can have her. That's very exciting. Hello. Can I get your order here? A pretzel? Witches really love their pretzels. It's kind of funny. Okay. Then we have a vagabond here. They really only be drinking water out here. Very interesting. Not to judge though. I'm glad they're staying hydrated. Are you are you enjoying your stay? No, only 25% satisfaction. That makes me so sad. Just because I don't have enough cats for you. I don't understand why it says zero out of two cats though, because I do have one cat, so I'm a little confused on why it says zero. I don't know. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments about this like whole cat predicament thing because I'm, I'm a little confused and I don't know if there's something I could be doing better. It might just be something I have to wait for later on down the line and that's okay too. Hello, witch. Pretzel? Yes, of course. Anything for you. 
<laughs> Ooh, I'm over halfway to getting my second cat slot limit or something. Oh wait, is this Bonner? <gasps> Hello, Shella. Figured I'd come check in, see how you're doing. How you been, Ben? Um, it's been a dream to help the cats. I think my character is focused on cats, so... I can tell. These felines look healthy enough to be running the place themselves. I've been taking, talking to some of my fisherfolk friends. Say they're keen to visit Shell Kitty, Shella. Fisherfolk are like myself, straightforward folk who sometimes prefer paying and fish. Don't give me that look. It's a town tradition. That thing being, Carla of the Pet Emporium would use all the fish she can get her witchy hands on. She sells her finest cat wares for fish alone. See, if you want to treat your cats or buy lures to attract new strays, you might want to advertise to fisher folk and, kept, and catch yourself some fish. Like they say, teach a man to befriend a fisherman and they'll have fish for a lifetime. Ooh, a present. Met Bonner? I mean, I already met him. What do you mean? And he wants some kind of coffee that I don't know how to make yet, which is sad. I wish I could help you, Bonner. I need some tea leaves. I wonder if I can buy tea leaves right now. I can. I'm gonna stock up. Thank you for helping me. And then, uh, I only have food bowls, so I don't think I should buy anything from there. And then, should I save up for a cash register, perhaps? I might. I might save up. So I'm just gonna not spend any of my money for a little bit. Um, I hope that the strays come back, though. I'm sorry! You didn't like your pretzel? I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> I'm trying my best. These people coming in here expecting like the best service they've ever had in their lives when I literally like just arrived in town the other day and this building used to not even be here. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. They should be a little bit nicer to me. I think they're being a bit too judgmental. <gasps> oh, the cats are back. I think Deborah's here. Leave me alone, Bonner. I'm trying to get some cats. No! What? Oh my god, I cannot believe this. My cats went away, Bonner interrupted me. I was about to get Deborah. Oh, oh no. Okay, again, not everyone is that happy with me, so. All right, well, I think that this rank D is a perfect spot to leave off our first little look at Cat Cafe Manager. And if this is something you all are interested in me continuing, let me know and I would be so happy to continue making episodes because I am having fun with this game and I feel like we just barely dipped our toes in. So I feel like I need some more time to kind of fully flesh it out and see what there is to offer. But thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate you being here and have a good rest of your day. Take care. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.